What is up everyone? Welcome back. Today we are strapping into the Wayback Machine. We are going back to 2004 to check out a live video of Duran Gray performing the track Amber from their Tour 04 DVD. It's coming off the Vulgar record, which I still have not had a chance to cover in its entirety, which I will be doing at some point. This translation comes from the incredibly talented Perry X. Her videos are amazing, both for the depth and research of her translations, as well as the versions of each track she chooses to utilize. She's a very passionate fan and truly loves the band, and you can get that sense in every product that she puts out. As far as her translations go, she's e easily the Duran Gray equivalent of Key, who does a ton of the Gazette and Misha Bray translations. They're both incredibly talented, and I always look forward to doing Perry X videos because she just does such a fantastic job. This track has been requested quite a bit in the past year plus that I've been covering Duran Gray. We're finally getting to it. The band is Duran Gray. The track is Amber. It is a live version. It is subtitled in English. And here we go. The tones here are so rich. Really love that feel that Shinny is putting in that drum passage here. Got that spanky, sparkly early VK sound with some of the accent riffs. With that darker riff work as well. Really cool vocal passage here. It's almost got a, he's almost got a delivery that reminds me of the Cure here. It's really cool. Got to look kind of like the Cure at this point as well. Really cool part to use this falsetto. Like the drama here in the performance by Ko. Great scream there. It really imparts that intensity and that power. Really love these tones here. Cool wads from Riven. Accent lead work. Really cool slap bass work and finger work by Shin by Koshi as well. He's such a killer bass player. That bass work you really just hear the attack on the way he picks and attacks the string, it sounds great. Very wild and almost uncontrolled vocal delivery is something I love about Ko, and he does it so well here.
really cool bit of vibrato there. really powerful how so many of his lyrics really focus around center around self-destruction and suicide and death I love that rhythm tone that's a cool way to let cool chord shape and cool phrase to ring that out with the end. Wow, that was an incredible performance. It was an amazing track towards the very end of it when, it, when all the lyrics really start to come together and I start to figure it all out. You can feel those chills just rolling up my arms and through my body and that intensity and that, that moment that it really just clicks and the intensity the passion, the pain, all that emotion just washes over me in one massive wave. And Darren Gray does that in such an incredible way. A band that I have truly come to love. And I do love this older style from them the slightly more alternative leaning style of their earlier records. Their, their first is still, their first record is still an absolute favorite. Though I haven't had a chance to venture into the, uh, some of the other earlier records yet, like Vulgar and Mare the Bone and stuff up, up before uh, DSS. So I do need to start doing that at some point. I need to make that more of a priority. This is a, an amazing track. Both guitar players do a great job. The accent work, that, that very twangy, sparkly guitar, part, guitar tonal work that really does harken to earlier VK is there, that alternative leaning, but you still get a bit of that darkness with the rhythm tone and the riffs that they're employing. Toshi is even back then was clearly a, just a fantastic player. And that, that finger style that he utilizes the different combination of finger picking as well as slap work, a lot of those hammer ons and pull offs and that very percussive aggressive nature of his attack at points on the strings really punctuates things that allows him to cut through a mix even back then and create that space for himself in the mix. Shania sounded awesome there, man. Really get a, a great sense of who he is in that style. He's got, he's always had this really cool Tom fills that he does. And that's, he gets a chance to utilize more of that straightforward rock and kind of like old school like 70s prog like drumming that I absolutely love when he's playing and he really really puts himself on display there it's a great job Coe's such an interesting vocalist and it's great to listen to him throughout the years as I've listened to his development up until the the latest the monumental record with the new and insulated world that he really isn't a traditional singer in a lot of respects. If you listen to him from on a technical standpoint, you might think he's out of, you might think he's off key or, or he's just not an or he's, he's really pitchy, but there's something about his brilliance, something about the way he's able to emotionally connect with the lyric and make manipulate his voice in different ways to make the, the listener feel certain emotions and to do it in a very non-traditional way to do it in a way he kind of flips 
the traditional, it's always been done that way method of singing and just tosses it completely on its head. He's got a great falsetto. I've always loved that. There's different textures that he's able to use to utilize in that and with his vibrato and just he takes you in different places that very few other singers will ever go and i can certainly by listening to more modern stuff by listening to dimlim and kaizu and even the controversial nega or nega i can see why he is so influential because he's not doing things the way they're normally done the way people consider they're supposed to be done and a year ago year and a half ago i didn't get it at first either until i until i really became such a fan of this band and what they do and what he does great performance the euphoria is still washing over me here there's nothing i didn't like about that track it was really well done and massive thank you to perry for Doing, the tran doing such an incredible translation, going through everything she does to do it. And picking the particular live that she did to place her translation. Great job. Always love covering her stuff. Thank you, guys. It's been a while since I've done DEG. It's been far past time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly love doing it for you. Thank you for being here for so long. I love you guys. I truly do. Thank you to my law enforcement, military veterans, and first responders for what you do every single day. As always, you have been awesome. I have been bald, man. I'll see you in the next one. Be excellent to each other. Keep head banging.